you. Oh my I god. I got you, bro. <laughs> yeah, baby. I had to stop before I came out like Diet Coke. Dude, fuck yeah. Every day for a week. Let's drink some Citrus Yuzu Smash. It'll Yuzu. Why did you say Crazy. that like my hero? Why did you say Smash like you were fucking Smash it. United States <laughs> Smash. <laughs> uh, am I in focus still? I, I moved, Eli. I fucked everything up. I promise. I 100% I fucked some shit up. No, dude, you look so in focus. It's crazy how I'm focused mm. here. Dude, that, I pull focus. Bah! Bruh, On the bruh. first time. Okay. That's what I do. Everything, are we actually, can we? Are we ready? Yes. I'm gonna double f it. Wait, let me get my finger good. Hold on, Eli's gotta be a shill for a minute. I, <laughs> I, was, I was thinking it just cuts and I'm just, I'm like, Patty, I'm not a shill. It's uh, like a. Uh, First form, head to toe hat, everything. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, Adidas. Are you double fing it? Oh! oh that was good. powerful. Mm hmm. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, those don't mix at all. Oh, damn, dude, you went double flavor. It's racially ambiguous and bad. That guy's fucking ridiculous. So we don't know. Best not to ask yourself why. But my friend, you've arrived. Welcome to unsubscribe. <laughs> Lemonade, citrus, and like cherry lime. What I'm are you mental doing? focused and drunk. <laughs> what? Hold, Hold, on. On. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay, real quick. Uh, mm. War in Russia. I already clapped. There's what? war. <laughs> now I was clapping about the war, Batty. I was oh, excited. You're clapping yeah, about war. The war. war. <laughs> I thought we were just celebrating. It's a double war. <laughs> yeah, it's Woo. a double war. It's a double war. <laughs> Maybe almost a triple war. Uh, yeah, possibly. Honestly, Belarus says some people. Belarus are a little unhappy right now. Yeah, I'm they, just who saying. knows what could happen anywhere, dude. dude. Welcome to the subscribe podcast, Eli Batty. Okay, okay. Welcome to the subscribe podcast. And as always, we have Eli doubles up myself, Batty streams, and our beautiful, powerful, strong, great tattoos. Love this man, Shane Smith. Back. Hey, everyone, it's me. Dude, I'm so stoked to be back. I'm so excited. We're in yeah, a new place dude. from the last time, and it's dude. crazy it's a in here, less dude. <laughs> It's a little less sketchy. Yeah, the last place was your home, right? <laughs> it was, was yeah. sketchy. It's sketchy. It's sketchy. Turns yeah. out, right behind the wall where we filmed, full of black mold. No way. Yeah, the floor collapsed after I moved out. Literally, the people were moving into the house, and the whole floor collapsed because of the mold and water damage. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> I was wondering why you kept talking about the hat man after the podcast. <laughs> that makes more sense He's now. Here, <laughs> he keeps visiting, man. <laughs> I forgot you were at the old house. The Not the old old. Just no, the, the old. mold house. The, the mold the house. Mold house. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, at yeah, the mold okay. house. Damn, Damn, he upgraded man. finally. First form gave us 15 seconds to do an ad. First form. Opti Green 50. Oh. <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> Factor! Firstform.com slash unsubscribe! First four! Yeah. Finally. I mean, dude, it's good to have you back. Dude, it's so good to be here, man. I love you saying sketchy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know it, dude. I, if I think it's sketchy, that's not great. <laughs> That's real you bad. You called Batty's old moldy house sketchy. It was. It was kind <laughs> like, of a, I'm hurt, but like I get it. Yeah, dude. It was off like a dirt road. I feel like it was. It had a very Texas chainsaw vibe. Uh, oh, it did. It, yeah, with the the double gates, the driveway it had mm -hmm. the warehouse in the mm -hmm. back. Yeah, maybe a house of a thousand corpses. Maybe that's more your vibe. No, the Texas Chainsaw Max was pretty, okay, yeah, it's pretty cool. spot on. I no, think you, wearing a guy's face is sick, dude. I'd like dude, to do that before I die. Right? Just check it off the old bucket list. Yeah, just throw it on. <laughs> you think a, you think you would have to, I think I'd have to wear like a big boy's face because I'm pretty tall. So he'd have to be like, <laughs> we're talking like 280 maybe, you know? I don't like the way you're looking at me right now. I don't like the way you're looking at me. Red hair. You guys beard. don't think about, Yeah, yeah, dude. Maybe uh, like a, a beard. Yeah, dude. Like some like some like type of gentleman from Texas, maybe. <laughs> from Vermont. I'm from Vermont. Oh, I just oh, live oh. I'm from Vermont. <laughs> New York, New York, we're friends. <laughs> just skin wearing. I just picture a fucking skin wearing dude, though. Like a psychopath that like. Oh yeah, dude. I'm like, gonna. When he's cutting faces off though, does he like? 
certain races, he's like, I can't do that. That's bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's afraid of oh, getting yeah, candy. Yeah, you can't wear it. Yeah, but he's, he's a woke murderer. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a a woke murderer. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to get, <laughs> get canceled, so he won't do real blackface. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dude. Well, if you cut off a Chinese guy's face and put it on yours, you can't see very good, so you're like, fuck, dude. Where I am I at? HD now. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for real, are you are you just cutting off the face? Or are you doing like the like the like the? No, I'm not going gladiator helmet. Mask. I'm going Slipknot style. Dude. Yeah, like, okay. Okay. Mask. like six, six hooks. Yeah, yeah. I think that's about one, two, three, maybe four. seven for here. Yeah, dude, you got to do two up uh, top to bottom. I think so. That's about how I do it. How long do you think before it gets stinky? I think it, here's the thing: you got to cure that meat, you know. But if you cure it, you're losing. You're losing it. Well, I mean, you, you got to moist. How do you do that? Maybe is that what formaldehyde does? Is, have you ever touched a dead person in an open casket? Uh, the closest yeah, I've come to a dead stiff. Per- yeah. ne- what, you touch the dead. Yeah, guy they're in like the not spongy. They're like very yeah. like. Would you squeeze some motherfucker's cheek? Like, sorry, dad, I miss you. Me, me. It wasn't. Like, well, I didn't know him. I was just. I just snuck into a room and there's a dead person. So I was like, I'm gonna get in there. I'm going to get in there. Did you wedding crash a funeral? No, I was what? at... <laughs> what? What did you just... What? what? This story is actually more insane than you want it to be. So I went to a person's funeral <laughs> at a funeral home, and I met a woman there, and we hit it off, and we decided to sneak away and... Did you get a blowjob at a funeral? No, I had sex at a funeral. <laughs> God, I'm a gentleman. I had, I had, I had penetrative had raw sex at a funeral. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so we snuck off into a room, and then and then there was a person in that room. They were dead, though. It's cool. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. Who are they going to tell? And then afterwards, later, we finished, and we went back to the thing. And then before we left, I like grabbed one of my friends, and I was like, hey, there was like an unattended dead person. Do you want to like go check it out? You know, it's that thing where you're a kid. You're like, do you want to see a dead body? <laughs> Like you key words there when you were a kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not I just. Oh, blew. I'm sorry. I maintain my childlike sense of wonder. You guys, <laughs> <laughs> that I can go check out a dead body oh and it's God, awesome. I get it. I get it. Okay. How did like, you I nut with Pokemon cards? Dude, just next. There. <laughs> she was so hot, dude. Oh, if you have a girl, if you meet a girl and in one day she's like, I want it, and she's willing to do it in a room. Oh, with a dead the person. lady is hot. Okay, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. No, the dead body is hot. I'm not, not doing it. Like, looking yeah. over, like that's what I, I was like so good. confused. I was like, no, you, no, 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 like, no, no. Yes, because he looked at me. He's like, she was fucking hot though, and I was no. like, oh, you're an animal, <laughs> Eli. What no, I'm not. Yes. I'm the animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm like, the yeah. animal. This story started with me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so anyway, it was a live woman who I met at the funeral. Not in, The dead person was separate from all the other stuff. <laughs> anyway, dead people are like stiff. They're like rock solid, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, just like me when I was fucking the lady, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Formaldehyde. Dude, that was I was young at the time too. That's when you have like a twenty year old boner. You could break into a car with it. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you don't need the little tap yeah, on it. You yeah, just yeah. touch your dick to the window. <laughs> boom. Yeah. Exactly, dude. Ooh. Just flex. Ooh. Damn, dude. Those were the days. Now it's like a melting. <laughs> yeah, now it's like you know when you your freezer's just not quite working enough. <laughs> yeah, and the ice cream's good, but you're like it could be more frozen. Yeah. You're happy because the spoon goes. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're also like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're happy. Like it's good enough. Yeah, it weren't. Could have been better. <laughs> yeah, like no one's complaining, but I feel like they know. You know, they know it could be better. I mean, even if they don't know. You but know. I mean, listen, you I'm, know, I, I have, I have a friend. He has infinite blue shoe. <laughs> I, because he's, he's, a body, he's got lines of it because he's a bodybuilder, dude. And you take it because apparently, well, he says, if you take dick pills, we'll just call it dick pills. Dick pills are the great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take dick pills, it makes you less sore and increase your vascularness. I don't know the science. Okay. It's, it's actually good. So it's a blood thinner. It actually helps. Uh, so nitric oxide, the opening of your, uh, Hold on, Eli. To the powers, you do know. The, if you're gonna start talking about nitrous oxide, <laughs> bullshit, and the blood, blood capillaries and how it flows into it, so it's a blood thinner. Eli, no, everyone knows Eli's a scientist, so <laughs> just like my son. <laughs> yeah, dude. Ah, uh, uh, scientists. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what we're calling them now. Anyway, oh. cheers to dick pills. They cure everything and do all of it, and it's amazing. 
God there bless him. There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. God bless America. Sheesh, right into now war. fucking around dead people. And now war. I mean, it's a great transition. <laughs> it is. Natural, Speaking of fucking smooth. around dead people. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Russia invaded Russia. <laughs> So wait, yeah, what the fuck? Okay, so, so I, you don't know what's really, you haven't been, I was up all night with a migraine, so I was just reading nonstop Twitter yeah, doom yeah, scrolling. Yeah. Um, I do the memes. Okay, I will give a brief backstory on what I've seen. I woke up at 7 or 8 a.m. Nah, that's what I was like, bed. phone, <laughs> and then it was like Russia, blah, uh, and it was two names. It was like Putin versus another guy's name, and it's yeah, like, another P name. I don't know. Yeah, and I was like, it's wait, it's what Russian. the fuck? It's incredibly Russian. It's unbelievably Russian. Oh, they're just fighting. And I didn't look into it other than it. I thought a new country was maybe fighting. I didn't. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, so in the war in Ukraine right now, <laughs> I think we, we can say this. YouTube's not going to be mad. We're yeah. fucking at 10 minutes in. Uh, in the, the war in Ukraine right now is basically Ukraine versus uh, the Russian Ministry of Defense and also the uh, private military contracting group, PMC group, Tarkov, what up? Uh, the, the Wagner group. I pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Wagner. Wagner group. Their, their version of, of BlackRock or any number yeah. of other things. That's how modern war big. works. But incredibly big. Massive. The, Warlord the big. Yes. The, the, with everyone who has ever read history knows you don't let your mercenary group get that big. No. What, li- Metal Gear Solid never, 5. Rome. Hundreds. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. They, <laughs> all of it. Yeah, all the video games. Spain. Who there else was, has had that happen? I mean, a bunch of people. Like, and, like Mongolia. as they're fighting in Ukraine, this military group, they also have another section over in Africa. Like... They have a lot of fucking dudes. This isn't like your private security you see over here. No, this is yeah, like yeah, yeah. they have this is Blackwater. They also this hire is, people from tanks. all nationalities. And it's not just yeah. Russians. Yeah. You have to, I think they want you to speak Russian. But. Yeah. Wait, they have ta- Okay, yeah. No, they have, not- they have tanks. <laughs> yeah, the Russian Min- Ministry of Defense sells them advanced military equipment. So I don't think they, th- they have to coordinate with Russian air s- and naval services. Yes. But they have a full, they have armored brigades. They have. I don't know whatever their version of strikers are. I don't know. Yeah, they, yeah. They're like they BMPs wheeled. or whatever. Yeah, they yeah. have tank hunter battalion. Like they have all of it. They have divisions that can <laughs> operate in modern war. Very successful. Obviously, you know. I just love how you're more. very knowledgeable. <laughs> Dude, I'm very interested. Well, because I, it's so yeah. hard to know because everyone's lying about everything it's all, just all the time. Twice. Dude. Yeah, dude. So I can't. I I truly am just like this is the first war since World War One where everyone's losing. It's like whoa, no one's. Everything bad is happening, and All it's terrible. Once, we yeah. should not be doing. It's no terrifying. one should be doing this. No, it's terrifying and right so now. So the leader uh, and uh, the the sub leader or whatever it is yeah, yeah. of this group. Um, has been speaking out against Putin because of the lack of support they've had in this war in Ukraine yep. from Russia, even though they're on Russia's side. And even though they are, they won their last major battle, oh, which yeah. is like, so, I don't know. It, it just looks like warlord stuff. Yeah, it really looks like a lot, like a lot of yeah, war crime yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, these guys, I'll, just to be very clear, they're very bad people. Oh, there 100%. is no They good. recruit from prison. Though I guess technically we they, did that in Vietnam. Huh? It, well, I mean, so did yeah. the Russian Ministry of Defense too. Yeah, they yeah, okay. So, Everybody's yeah. bad Russian, again. Yeah. Everyone's bad they're again. Like, we're they're bad like, guys. Yeah, yeah. They're executing <laughs> war, uh, uh, war, each uh, other. Everything. No, they're uh, just executing war prisoners with yeah. sledgehammers. Like mm. it's real yeah, bad. They're bad. Don't so, do that. but but the leader of this group hates Putin because he's not giving a lot of support, and so he was like, "All right." And then recently, uh, as of yesterday, uh, the Russian military accidentally. Not so accidentally. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Call blue. of Duty Modern Warfare 2 dropped themselves. an airstrike in their camp, like killed a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. And the Wagner group, after multiple being out, like the only motherfucker who's like on Russia that's going to be like, hey, fuck you, Putin, like multiple times. He's like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> took their dudes and they're, they took uh, the southern command headquarters yeah they Russia. surrounded it there's a, videos of like a tank pointing at like dude there's literally like people just like chilling like having a picnic on a date like filming with their phones and there's private military contractors over a million people their group just rolled in took the ministry of defense area like yeah. southern command and now they've moved up another you know six hours they're about what seven hours away from moscow right now it's in another crazy. city yeah yeah oh this is, so this is a full-on war war this is a full i mean the, i don't it's think they've killed anyone yet that we know no, of. no there is uh as of this morning they, okay the, the, yeah there there was uh fighting in one city uh, it's the second city they took not oh, okay not the one that starts with an r it starts with a v 
I can't think of all the names because I'm not. Vinchinskia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Volstagrad. Yeah. And uh, (laughs) Russia was using helicopters against them and airstrikes, and they shot down a Russian helicopter already. Oh, dude. That's crazy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, There's another video of a second helicopter shooting off flares, dodging a missile over the city. Yeah, man. Bro, it's It's wild. wild. It does sound like... Putin was like, oh, the I actually let the warlord become a warlord. I should kill him. <laughs> then he tried to airstrike the warlord, and the warlord was like, I was at Starbucks when you did that, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, yeah, and now it's, you son of a bitch. And then now he's like, well, I'm going to do war. I'm going to do war against you because I've been speaking out against yeah. you. So now it's like this whole thing. So With Ukraine. So two of the shit. multiple like Russian National Guard units on the way in have just been like, Ah, we're on the warlord side now too. Yeah, dude, it's fucking. So, like, crazy. right now they are barricading the entire road from the second city they took to Moscow to uh, uh, stop it. They have the Russian special forces, uh, more National Guard units, all just being like, "I guess we're at war now." The, the, Russian- the soldiers have to give up because even fighting Ukraine, Russia's a lot of soldiers were like, "Yo, fuck this!" Like, they're, yeah, they're yeah, yeah, peace yeah. out. Everything was going wrong, and now you have another fighting force. On the opposite side, I guarantee they're just like, what the fuck? In Russia. You? Yeah, in yeah. Russia. Like, if you've ever read about World War One, this is exactly, exactly what happened. Ex- yeah. They were fighting on the front. The things were going weird. They could have been winning, but they weren't mm-hmm. because, you know, whatever, whatever, rich people were t- doing bad things. One and assassination. Then, one assassination. Yeah. And, and then World War One. <laughs> one group and then the Civil War. So we'll see. Could be a full blown Civil War in Russia. That'd but, be wild. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of right now, this uh, leader of the Wagner group is saying we want putin not in charge we yeah. want to get rid of the top chain of military command everybody else is cool though you guys are all good like the lower enlisted the lower chain of command yeah yeah they took uh the first thing they took has an airfield that's directly supporting uh the war in ukraine and they just be like hey if you're trying to fly out to fight ukraines hell yeah we're gonna put one of our guys on your helicopter go off just make sure you don't attack us yeah, they're they're, they're oh, so they're still fighting Ukraine. Oh yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. supporting the fight of Ukraine while also fighting Russia. Yeah, I mean they didn't take very much. I think it's like a division or something. It's like yeah. it's a divisional element. It's not like a crate because you know it is a coup and there's not like troops stationed around Moscow, so they don't really need to do a lot. Yeah. I mean that's what happened in like 1991. It was like a battalion element surrounded the Kremlin. Yeah, and then they just did that. So we'll see what happens. It's wild. It's though. super dude. Super Metal crazy. Gear is real. <laughs> <laughs> he he predicted everything. Dude. Dude. And, oh, and, and uh, the opposition of the main leader in Belarus is now speaking out, being like, "We want all Russians out of Belarus." Yeah. yeah. Oh, also, yeah. That guy's. Yeah. Yeah. He. I mean, bunch of crazy shit going on right now. And I think my favorite thing that's going on with this whole scenario is it's a giant conspiracy theory, and it's not real. That's oh, my, dude. A yeah. lot. A lot of being like, oh, it's a. They're, they're trying to do this to get Ukraine to attack and push real big so that they can nuke them. Yeah. Oh, dude. yeah, dude. There is some That's major, fun. like, false flag fucking crazy conspiracy theories going on. Dude, everyone thinks everything is a conspiracy. Everything is a conspiracy and now theory. Now it's so hard because, like, information drops and more information drops, and then the government will hide stuff, but then leave, be open about certain stuff, and you're like, yeah, the information <laughs> war. That's the part of the the Ukraine war. Watching a modern war between two modern countries and yeah. how you literally can't discern what's happening. Even looking at maps of the battlefield moving, like you can't tell who is winning at any point until much later. Much later. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely. wild to watch. World War Three is going to be crazy. We're going to watch it on TikTok, <laughs> dude. <laughs> just like yeah, a dude, dude, dude for real. By. Just like <laughs> blowing up tanks. Dude, I'm gonna go ahead nuts. and say it. We're already watching it on TikTok. Dude. It's, this is the, this yeah, is yeah. the beginning. I can't like, wait to watch Baby Kronk on TikTok fighting <laughs> against China or whatever. <laughs> that's, that's a guy, that's, right? That's a whole other yeah, story. Baby yeah, John. dude. I can't believe that exists. Well, God. right now it's so weird. Just we have the the Ukraine war, and then social media is great because we forgot about that. Essentially, in my opinion, everyone was like support. Submarine. Oh, I was about to say submarine. Oh no! The, and then the, you can cut to like the five hundred people that died on that boat, the immigrants, because oh, it was like five hundred. So and sad. right next to fucking walk, like a shoreline. Do you know about this, Patty? No. Oh, I haven't this even heard about this. Yeah, dude. Fucking time frame. There's a boat of of 750 immigrants, and they're trying to immigrate to Greece. For f- firstly, imagine how bad it has to be in your home country for you to choose Greece <laughs> as the place you go. <laughs> Place is fucking terrible, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the place with the sweatiest, smelliest people. That's wild. 
Noon. So. <laughs> <laughs> fucking God, be racist against white people. Let's go. Yeah. We're, so, al- we're allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah dude. Fuck you, Elon. Yeah, Keep dude. your fucking gyros over hey, there. Hey, <laughs> Your ladies have mustaches. What's up with that? <laughs> so anyway, they were Their going to Greece. Their brooms are hot. Yeah, dude. Uh, and so they were pulling up, and then they like, well, I don't know what happened. Some they got catastrophic like, failure on the boat? Yeah, something over mm-hmm. there. And they're like, oh, okay, you're out there. You can't. You're not welcome here. And then the oh. boat just sank. Dude, everyone on it, not great. And so a bunch of people are like drowning or whatever. And like, no, there's no like massive Coast Guard thing to like, hey, well, let's just save. Even if we don't want these people here, let's save them and put them back. Let's not let them die. (laughs) Meanwhile, some dude with an Xbox controller gets lost by the Titanic. And And everybody's like, we got to do something about this. And dude, the media just freaked the fuck out about it. What happened? This, What's going on? And then you find out that thing just... Dude, and people were so mad at me for making fun of them. <laughs> hey, if you try to go to space in like a Volvo, if you build a catapult to throw your car into space, <laughs> hey, bro, I'm going to make fun of you when you die. That's crazy that that's you would true. do that. No, it's fair. like that flat earth guy that built a rocket, remember? So he could look at the earth being flat and then he exploded. <laughs> yeah, dog. Guess you why? Made- yeah. You're not an engineer. He literally was like, I don't know a lot about math, but I feel like I know a lot about rockets. (laughs) Hey, what the fuck? (laughs) Those are not, that's not how that works. That's a shirt. I don't know much about math, but I know a bunch about rockets. (laughs) Yeah, bro. (laughs) Explosion in the background. That would be the craziest thing I've ever heard. That would be like, I don't know a lot about vaginas, but I know a lot about sex. (laughs) You're like, what? Hold on. How are you doing it? (laughs) This makes no sense. Yeah, dude. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, my God. So they had um, apparently submarine had carbon fiber that was outdated that the fuel lodge. That's what happened. He bought it on a discounted rate because it you was. You got to get the discount. He got He got his submarine from Costco. Nothing like billionaires need that discount Costco card sub. Dude, no one's cheaper than a rich person. No, no well, one's the, cheaper than a rich person. The Boeing. So the owner of the company, they just uh, they got old. Boeing was like, oh, we can't use this anymore. It's too old for our fuel loss. Uh, and then they were like, oh, we'll take it at a discounted rate, bought it. And then they're like, now we can go to the sea. Yeah, dude. Like, they, on old fucking shit with that. They glued titanium hatch to carbon and carbon and titanium don't bond. You have to glue them. And But they expand from temperature in different ways. So like, You're first cracking thing, the steel. Of th- like, that's yeah. a terrible plan. Then Very the guy was idea. like, "We don't hire submariners or submariners or whatever you call them." Sorry, I don't. Know. Sorry to everyone in the navy. I don't know what the fuck you guys are up to. <laughs> I and then he's like, "Cause we want to inspire people. We want diversity in the workplace. We don't want a bunch of fifty-year-old white guys." Oh, just hire one though. <laughs> just hire just one, one fifty-year-old one white guy who was please. in a submarine one time, bro. <laughs> Nah. Did you see they rivet you into the submarine? Yeah. Wait, what? So to okay, get, you to get, be fair though, that's not super unusual. Okay. For some of these old things. Okay, fair. I, I see. I will I, say that I, maybe I, it's I, not I, unusual for a submarine, but me as a regular guy who's going to go to the bottom of the okay, ocean. That's fair. No, that's <laughs> super fair. Like, super I need unusual. you to get in, and I'm going to rivet you in Formula One style. I know. Just imagine that. I like the imagery because you're like, okay, hey, can you get in? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Hey, sit down right there. And then the glass goes over yeah, and you're yeah. like, hey, you're good. You're- <laughs> you can't hear anything. You're like, I'm still like, <laughs> Dude, the guy, the guy who did it was like, we, this is safe because we're taking cues from the aeronautics industry. And I was, I, I saw the video and I was like, okay, that's really interesting. An interesting idea because the aeronautics industry obsessed with safety, pretty good at it. Right. Yeah. And then, but then he seals you into a tube that is an oxygen rich environment. The first astronauts to ever die were sealed into a tube that was an oxygen rich <laughs> environment. <laughs> And they had electronics, and of course, there's lots of oxygen, so one little spark from their fucking PlayStation Ooh. controller, and they all burned alive. So I was like, dude, you didn't read any... Dude, I didn't graduate high school, and I know that happened, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? And you're in the bottom of the ocean in the oxygen-rich tube? 
come on, man. I couldn't do it. The ocean, I, I don't give a shit of going that deep. I like, as a lot of people were saying, they were how many meters deep? Like 4,000. 4,000 4, like, meters. Yeah, like just shy of 4,000. Just shy. And the, the Titanic is like 3980 exactly. or something. Yeah, it's like crazy. 30, yeah, it's, yeah. And a military submarine. Military submarine doesn't go lower than like 500, apparently. Yeah, 2,000. That's max. 2, really? Is what, yeah. Dude, we're, we got some beefy submarines. And they're like, nah, that's too low. And even then, that's like sketchy, right? Right? You don't yeah, want to be hanging exactly. out down that's, there. That's like max depth. At least that's what people are saying online. I'm sure they yeah, go we have the deeper. secret, super yeah. secret alien submarine that of runs course. off of magnets or whatever that's down even further. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> fuck, it, it knew. <laughs> but that's that's the other crazy thing. All this time, all this money spent, and the Navy was like, oh, no, we knew they imploded day one, like immediately. Oh, I literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Navy was like, we're so sorry. <laughs> we knew that they exploded. Dude, imagine the Navy. You're like a guy, radar guy, and you're like, Hey, the Titanic just explodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're Someone's just like, like what the fuck? You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like what? <laughs> you take your headphones off, looking around. Like, hey, did someone set a firecracker off <laughs> in the Titanic? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was a couple billionaires. Oh, okay, whatever. You see the guy oh, shakes his head. Puts it weird. back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee you, it, it was his like four day week, and that's why he didn't help anyone. Oh, yeah, he yeah, just yeah, like yeah, clocked yeah. out He's with like, the bed, no, playing video bro. games. Dude. Finally, he gets to the surface, and they're like, dude, this thing fucking imploded. I wasn't a black cat. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, uh, dude, he, he, he goes, oh, fuck. Dude. How much money did we spend? Hey, buddy. Oh, not again. Remember when you're playing in the summer sun? Make sure you're escaped from pubes to bun. That's right. This is the summer to keep your balls cool and looking hot with Manscaped. Hey, Betty, your balls look cool and hot. They are smooth. Man, Eli takes his check your boys boys thing seriously. The leaders in Blow the Ways Grooming are making sure we have a ball this summer by giving our pants partners everything they need to stay fresh. Dive headfirst into smooth sack summer by heading over to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB for 20% off. Their Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. Their Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer features cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawn Mower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on off switch that can engage a travel lock, and it gives you the ability to turn on the 4,000K LED spotlight on on and off when needed for more precise shave. Did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? Beach, lake, or shower, this razor will devour even the strongest pubes. I'm heading to the lake later to shave my pubes for smooth sack summer. Thanks to code UNSUB, got me 20% off my lawnmower 4.0. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with code UNSUB. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code UNSUB over at manscaped.com. Don't forget to check your boys' boys for smooth sack summer. Touch those boys, boys. Yo, yeah. Manscaped, yeah. Yo, Manscaped, your intros are... They wrote this. <laughs> One of the very first radio transmissions as they were descending to see the Titanic was that they they were the guy was like, hey, our, our TV system is malfunctioning because they have, like, a thing yeah. that is, like, welcome to the Titanic and, like, explaining what's going on, like, almost Jurassic Park style, yeah. you know what I mean? But it, it got caught on a loop, so it was playing that Celine Dion song and, like, showing images from the real Titanic and stuff on a loop. So they died listening to My Heart Will Go On on a loop, just trapped in a steel tube with that song playing. They're oh, stabbing man. to try to make that yeah, pressure yeah, equalize. They're like, kill us! Just let <laughs> <just go." laughs> Oh, dude. Have you seen what implosion is like? Oh, dude, it's oh, an instantaneous... Yeah. I, that's how I want to die. If I could choose a death, that would be Vaporize, it. Vaporize, dude. Yeah. It, it's like an actual... I thought it just like crushed you, but it's an actual explosion. Yeah, yeah. and implosion is just another word yeah, for yeah. explosion, too. Explosion yeah. is right there. I should yeah. have known. <laughs> <laughs> Plosion. I know, dude, yeah, dude. Well, anything with plosion. The amount of times I saw the old Mythbusters clip of where they had the guy in like the old school dive suit and they, they, oh, yeah. they had him super deep and then they tested what would happen if like they changed the pressure and the the, the whole body just sucked into the helmet. And it oh, <laughs> Imagine being one of the first guys to dive and you're like helping him and you pull him up and it's just like a little ball of him in the head. You're like, mm, it's just soup. Seems <laughs> not great. That's what happened uh, down in that one uh, oil, the deep 
deep refinery where they had to dive in. They would live there for I feel like <coughs> four or five days, a couple of weeks. That's time. really. And then they would go down and uh, do shit at the bottom of the sea. So when he came back to the middle ground where they're all like stationed and they live, um, he was supposed to decompress the entire area and there was a malfunction. Human error didn't seal it all the way. So when they opened it, boop, everyone died. Fucking instantaneous! That entire rig just gone. Everyone Dude. killed. Yeah. Oh when was it? I never heard this. Was like nineties or two thousands. Dude, just whack. yeah, just instant. Like they're like there's like recreations and everything like that. It was like I think what's it called? Like pee pressure or something? Um, PSI. That, there's a word terminology for pressure has to be equal. So that's yeah. what happens. It's all the pressure. Yeah. And you have hundreds of millions of pounds of pressure. At all that, that water on you, dude. Yeah. Fuck and that's, it. and it's in your pocket. It's like, this isn't equal. How does it get equal? Meat sack. <laughs> just go yeah. And dude. Just delete everything. I think this is my favorite part of the when, when we talk about science that we truly, none of us <laughs> understand, <laughs> dude, throw well, it on me, the lab me, I'm coat. Like, yeah, PSI is like yeah, millions of pounds of pressure. And there's one dude who understands this in our listening right now. Who's like, these fucking idiots. He's in the comments right now. He's like, yeah, dude, I and love that guy. <laughs> I love that guy. He's going. educating me. I refuse to be educated, dog. <laughs> Fuck your never, education. I will read what you said, and it will completely not go in. <laughs> He's Fuck a criminal, you. and we're idiots. Like. That's right, dude. <laughs> we're not going to learn at this point in our life. It's absolutely real. <laughs> so the more you know, <laughs> dude. I can't believe. Yeah, they exploded. In other news, Zelda's out. That's pretty dude, cool. Dude, Zelda's out. Fucking Zelda, Diablo, what Final the Fantasy? fucking Final Fantasy 16? I know, I gotta play Final Fantasy. Oh, it's so good. It is the pinnacle of gaming, right? It's what I've missed in gaming. Well, so Diablo, there's. we were talking about this before the podcast. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Fucking just home Dude, we're spoiled home. for choice this year. New 70 says, uh, Cyberpunk coming out? I, I cannot. I see... So I can never stream Cyberpunk ever again because I have put so many mods in that game. There are titties everywhere. Oh, yeah. There's just uh, literally, there's just no shirts. I thought you were going to say I accidentally had gay sex on stream and I now I can never live with yeah. myself or something. Did you see streamers? <laughs> I modded so much Cyberpunk. Every pair of clothing is like sheen, like oh, purple. Yeah, me. I'm dude. like, yeah, this is the future I want to live in. Yeah, titties. I, I, I had a Skyrim mod that just put tits on the dragon. That's all it did. <laughs> So when the dragon shut up, it just had man. huge naturals, dude. Yeah, 4K. Like teardrop. Yeah, dude. <laughs> teardrop looking great. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, did it have yeah. like the crazy anime booby jig jiggle physics yeah. too? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, of course it did. <laughs> Good. I love, of course it did. I love it if you let your priorities play it. Like someone alive. that's the never dead. played Skyrim and you don't tell them about that one mod, everything else is normal. And it's not the first dragon. It's a little further in the game. No, yeah, yeah. The, the first one's pretty. Like dude, a good it shows hour up. You're in. like looking up at it, and they're just hanging, dude. Go looking, go looking. Yeah, but like right at the gate, you're gonna suspect something. If it's like four dragons in, like that's dragon the first play the through, and you're like, you know, when you <laughs> when you a nice rack. When you get far enough into a relationship with a girl who's not a gamer and she gets to the point where she's now going to watch you play games. She doesn't really understand games, so she's chilling with you. Yeah. And then you, you're playing a regular fantasy game and the dragon has huge natural. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's like, what the fuck? It's, like, yeah, it's part of the game. I don't know. This is most games. Call of Duty loaded with huge naturals, dude. <laughs> Tits everywhere. Tits, dude. This is the kind of video game you play when I'm not around. She looks down like, these are... Yeah, it's oh, like the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Let's yeah, we are we are very spoiled with games this year. Yeah. Which is very different from last year. Yeah, dude. I mean, the last I feel like the last, the last three years. years. Yeah, we've sucked. had one or two here or there, but there's been so many disappointments and yeah. like weird things that have happened and just like you know misses or games being delayed. So I'm stoked on this year, dude. dude. I don't have time. That's what you've been fucking working. I've been on. working. Yeah, like what are you crazy, doing? Just dude. traveling and doing shows. Dude, I'm just traveling. I'm on tour, so I'm just like doing. I'm traveling like four days a week. Then I come home and I have to do my podcast for two days, and I've got like all this other stuff. Then you have to like get your life in order. Then you have to leave for Ew. tour again. I know, dude. Ew. And oh, then, an adult. And I know, like an adult. It's fucking crazy. You have responsibilities. <laughs> and then I also plan like other stuff. Like I had, I had like three days off, and I just decided to spend them here in Texas surfing. Which is a thing I never thought I would say out loud. Dude, you were fucking shredding, Dude, I was bro. ripping, bro. I, I'm so sore. I've never been so sore in my <laughs> life. One other time I was this sore, and it's because I had sex with a French woman. And besides that, I'm like, I literally, like, I can't walk. My hip hurts. It's I, nuts, dude. Wait, rewind why a French woman made you sore. What? 
You've never had sex with a French woman before? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what you, bro, you would know if you had done it. I will tell you this right now. Not French Canadian. I'm talking about that pure about, real shit. Oh, yes. Yeah, Vermont, see. French Canadian. That, yeah. that's, all, that's all you get. That's all you get? You don't yeah. get normal French up in, in, New, in Vermont. Like Maybe New York isn't diversity, but Vermont's when, French Canadian. That is it. When I was a very young man, uh, a piece of shit, with some would say, uh, <laughs> oh, I, I was... Uh, you remember, you're a you remember, snapper. You remember MySpace and Kick? Remember these two things? Yes. Wait, kick. Kick like or the the K I K K I K. Oh my God! Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, yeah. the old, old one where old one. dudes just picked up chicks. T Mobile side and kick, by baby. chicks I mean children. You sick fucks. Yeah, I mean people I still do that. Space. It's very bad. Don't do that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, I was on MySpace and I was like, <laughs> wait, G <wait. laughs> pause it, do a safety message, continue yeah, with yeah, regular yeah, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was on MySpace, I was like 15. Of course, I was like a, I was like a little weirdo. I had a bunch of tattoos and I was fucking what doing. I was up to stuff. I liked Avenged Sevenfold. Ladies love that shit. I liked Avenged Sevenfold, yeah, yeah, dude. So I met a lot of, but because the social media back then wasn't like for normal oh God, people no. yeah right and so they, we all had our little weird groups and so i met all these alternative people from all over the world and there was this one girl from paris who was really hot and she's a french woman and she spoke you know english pretty well and we used to talk and she had like you know hair and the gothic makeup and whatever she was much older than me like i didn't realize i'm like 15 and she she's like hair. 20 something <laughs> yeah yeah i just like, like she, i said it i know well but dude, in france that's like no i'm a fully grown man in france when i'm 15 bro <laughs> <laughs> I should be smoking cigarettes and have a job, dog. Right, so you have a family. I, I fucking, um, we talked for a long time. Then I, I, I like, by the time I was like 20, we were still talking and now she's like much older, right? And so um, at this time, I'm like a total piece of shit. I'm like a full on criminal. I don't have a lot of money and I'm up to stuff, but she's like, hey, <clears throat> we hadn't talked for like, you know how you, you'll like not talk to someone for like eight months and all of a sudden they come back? Yeah. I love that. It's fine. Whatever. Do it. Yeah. She comes back. She's like, hey, what's up? Like, how have you been? We start reconnecting. And, and um, she's like, hey, I'm actually going to like join the army. I graduated from college. I'm going to be an officer. And I'm going to do all this stuff with my life. I want to be a politician. But before I do this, like, I'd really love to meet you. Like, <laughs> I want like one last like hurrah. <laughs> let's come back. Hurrah. So she's like, if you save some money, I'll also send you some money. And then you fly to Paris for a couple days before I leave. So I was like, fuck it, dude. So I Wait, saved. you're 15 at this No, no, no. I'm, I'm 20 now. Oh, okay. I'm 20. But I've known <laughs> okay. her since I was 15. Yeah, okay. yeah. A couple oh, years yeah, yeah, of yeah, grooming yeah, yeah, first. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm 20 and she's like, I want to say 28 right okay, now. Okay, this story's no longer illegal. This Go story's on. no longer illegal. <laughs> it's very legal. <laughs> and it was started very dangerous. <laughs> and we were moving into yes. okay. spicy, but now we're into, we're Taco Bell mild. So... <laughs> <clears throat> she invites me over. So I, I, I do this. I don't tell any of my friends because I'm from Utah. If I tell my friends I'm going to France, they'll call me gay. So I can't, you know, I'll get made fun of. So I it's the early 2000s. It's the early yeah. 2000s. I, I understand. So Different I, time. I save up some money. I, I get a ticket to go to. I've never, I've like, har, I, I've never like been somewhere crazy before. So I'm like going to Europe for my first time. I fly out there. She picks me up. We just go to a hotel. And for like, two nights in a day we just have this like crazy romance where we're like telling each other we love each other we're fucking so much you ever fuck so much that you're dehydrated you're like i gotta eat peanuts bro like i need salt <laughs> i need i need something like, you're, that dehydrated yeah it's just that fucking clear cum yeah, yeah dude <laughs> have you ever had like i don't know Look, if you guys you are circumcised what, what, what are you rocking what are you rocking like, oh, you push it aside i'm like yeah, yeah. you rocking what are you circs what are you doing oh cut Gone. Cut. Cut. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The, all of us were faded. We got the fade. <laughs> 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 I, I, the fade. My brothers who are uncirc, they don't get that. But like you ever fuck so hard that later like the base like the top near your penis is like sore. You're like, yes. ah, what the fuck? Yeah, dude, I got because we don't have the like thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We it's don't not have the sleeve. We're not rug sleeved. You get rug so, burn. <laughs> yeah, you get rug burn. So <laughs> I was, Oh yeah, that <laughs> sensitive touch, man. It's uh, that yeah, young dude. sensitive touch, you're like, ah. That was, the, that was the first time, because I've only ever been with American women, and like, listen, it, shout out to American women. So, there's some women who throw it down in America. Southern women, uh, women from Appalachia. Uh, highly fucking, specific. Any woman <laughs> from Alaska, dude, she throws it down, okay? But like, I've, I've, been, I've been hooking up with like Mormons and fucking women from California. That's bullshit, dude. It's docking. It's a so, space yeah, station. Yeah, yeah. I get to France. I start hooking up with this grown-ass <laughs> woman, and 
and she it's the first time I'd ever been having sex with someone and I was like oh she is fucking me back <laughs> you know what I mean yeah, this is, I'm like, in a rock yeah, yeah, yeah like oh oh okay oh shit and so it was crazy dude we were doing all you ever done the Amazon I didn't even know that existed till then go on the Amazon is when you lay on your back and like your legs are up and then she takes your dick kind of like points it like this way right and then she fucks you so it's almost like pegging but straight do you understand what I'm saying? Not that yeah. pegging isn't straight. Shouts out to everyone who loves a little butt play. Go crazy. <laughs> do what you gotta do, homie. So do she, what you gotta she do. Is holding your legs? Yeah, like she's in front of me, like doing it, but like my dick is like she's got that, she's got your shit fucking flat, kind of flat. Yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah. at an angle. I'm like 45 to get well, not like that, but, but you know what I'm talking you're about. You're at that angle where it's like, ads, ah, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's like when you have a super hard and you're like pushing it down. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she and then she does you like because your legs are up, dude. Like you're you got like this situation, right? And then you're pointed. This, this. <laughs> I've never done that. Do you understand what I'm saying? I got I, I, well I, visually I, now. I, I'm hundred percent. She's above you and she's going I, crazy. I don't like. I don't like being dominated. I found <laughs> She's that not out. dominating you. It's like she looks into your eyes. She tells you she loves you. You're safe, dude. That's what you are. Because the second my legs you are like this, it. oh and yeah, it's like <laughs> I'm being wiped. Oh <laughs> yeah, my legs are up like a baby's legs. I'm like ah. Uh. I'm soft now. Oh no, <laughs> not, dude! Not I'm, so I'm incredibly hard, dude. <laughs> I just, I don't like that yeah. at all. I'm just yeah, picturing yeah. me like that. I just like, <laughs> I can't talk dirty right now. Dude, I can't be like, yeah, you. Fuck that Listen, dick. When, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> fuck, when fuck this, me harder. Yeah, when this then woman, I feel her hands hold my throat. I'm like. Dude, listen, listen, listen to Don't me. Don't hold my hand. When a six foot tall French woman with a full set of armpit hair takes control, you just go with it. All right. She yeah. was six feet tall, too? Yeah, dude, she was, she was tall. A big old. She was a bitch. She was an Amazon but woman, But she dude. wasn't dominating you. No, no. It was like a whole thing. It was like a competing. It was a competing <laughs> thing. <laughs> You're competing. Hey, hey, hey. Are you, are you okay? Oh, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Hairy I'm fine. woman. I'm fucked her. Holding you down. Your hard. legs are up in the air. I like a little armpit hair, dude. Your girl would just send it. She you're even in give fucking a fuck, the dude. guard position, and you're mm -hmm. winning. The <laughs> guard. Yeah, yeah. No, dude, that's I'm pulling guard. That's how you. That's a winning position. I'm throwing the. I'm, come, I throw an arm bar. I put her in the triangle, dude. <laughs> Get it. Anyway, it was very good. We you like finished crazy. and finished the fight. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> she gave me a blowjob on a balcony. Yeah, dude. Oh, I fuck. could see the Eiffel Tower while I was coming. Really? Yeah. You kept your eyes open? I kept my eyes open, dude. <laughs> Yo, Where is it like this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I salute it, dude. I was You're like, right. yeah. You keep your eyes open while you come, though. Like, that's kind of like. Oh, dude, I always keep. I'm looking, bro. Yeah, I'm what are like, you doing? I got to see where I'm aiming. What? How do you come? I'm, I'm, batty, I'm fucking just. You just pray and pray. Yes, and man, I'm over passing it. Passing out at that moment. Passing out? Nah, I'm just happy, bro. It's good. I don't care if my eyes are open. I'm already done. Like, Dude, I, don't just leave leave I don't need to watch anymore. Do you just leave a mess and then just... <laughs> yeah, I leave a mess and I walk away. I'm like, all right, see you tomorrow. No. I don't... Well, you close your eyes. I'm Why not? Aiming. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm aiming. Or I'm yeah. like looking at him. I'm like, this yeah, rocks, dude. It, just like when I'm J-O into porn, I'm not like, I'm about to... Eli, say jack off. Say jack off, Eli. Hold on. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to bust. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. <laughs> I mean, you've never been watching porn and then it switches to the bad thing like that's that. when I close my right? eyes and then you close your eyes but no, it ruins no, 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 it right? no, no, no. it ruins it that's why you're ruining it, your own orgasm dude I look at her I'm not, I'm not no 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 see I keep my eyes open when I'm coming because I'm I gotta be able to read my I'm phone busting while I'm, and then I'm, then I'm closing my eyes I'm not being like alright I'm about to bust Oh, you bust and then close your yeah, eyes? I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm good. Nah, that's weird, man. Oh, oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, you're so weird. Get in yeah, fucking you're no. weird, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got to clean up. First thing, I'm like, ooh, I look at my fucking prize. I'm like, man, I did good. Look at that fucking oh, high you have score. To clean up? Oh, dude, high for score. real, dude. Hell yeah. And then what is that? Five? Eight, eight, nine ropes. I'm going crazy <laughs> today, dude. <laughs> Boot <you> today. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. That's what's up. <laughs> And then I get up, go in the bathroom, da, 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 and you cry then I come a little, in, right? get a cloth and wipe off. Oh, them dude, they off. love it when you have the cloth. I'm a southern gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're not having a full discussion. Shane, about I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something here. I'm gonna <gasps> oh, yeah. Go crazy, man.
Super excited to do this sheath ad read today. I'm actually wearing my spare pair. Super comfortable. Are they? Yeah. Eli? Eli? Ah! Oh, they do look comfortable. And they smell good. <laughs> Let's take a quick second and thank today's sponsor for the video, Sheath Underwear. Sheath makes the most comfortable boxer briefs I have ever worn. If you're sick of wearing boxers that are too loose or briefs that are too light, Sheath is the answer for you. I'm wearing a pair of sheath underwear right now as we speak. You were wearing a pair of sheath underwear. The only underwear I own, it is the best. Just get one pair, it'll change your life. <laughs> the stretchy fabric is made of moisture wicking technology. They're super soft, they keep everything comfortable and cool and in the right place. Sheath is particularly useful on these hot summer days or when you're working out to keep yourself cool. The most unique thing about sheath underwear, it has dual pouches to keep your man parts separated and keep them where they're supposed to be or if you wanna store something else. Plus, with all this new material like bamboo and mesh, it keeps the parts cool. And you know what pandas eat. Bamboo? Betty, would you like a drink? No, but for the sake of this ad, yes. It's my wee wee hole. Cheers, Sheath. Head over to sheathunderwear.com and use code unsubscribe for 20% off the most comfortable underwear you'll ever wear. That's sheathunderwear.com. Use code unsubscribe to save 20%. Go get some comfortable underwear. I love it. Dude, Coke, dude. I, I love it. Buddy. I love a Diet Coke. Yeah, dude. Cheers to that, everybody. But Final Fantasy 16, fucking play it. If you haven't, it's Batty just started. I'm like what three hours in? Yeah, you're you are a hardcore gamer. You come from that old time frame, like Xeno Gears and everything. Oh, like dude, that. I've been playing all of them. One of my favorite games of all time. I know, dude. Which, where's I mean, our remaster? They will not, bro. Did Xeno remaster. Gears come out on Switch? Didn't they do some Xeno no, Gears on no, Switch? No, yet? no, they got they've been they go to Xeno Saga and stuff. Oh, Xeno Blade, that's what it is. Xeno Blade, <laughs> Xeno Saga. Yeah. Yes, I was Xeno I, I Gears one. was too ahead. It's so ahead of its time. Magnus it's Opus. still ahead of its time. It's still ahead of its time. It's like, it's kind of like if Metal Gear never got traction. It's just the ideas, the concepts, the mm -hmm. art, the music, everything about it is perfect. And uh, people don't appreciate it. And I will kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> It's the, I'm sorry, you the had the same game. passion yeah, as me, dude, and I so love good. it. That he's just never as, played it, dude. It's, really, uh, never played it. You should try it. You'll love it. I played Zeno second Blade. disc. It's weird, but it's, I, I played the one on Switch because you could. I could download it. and I'm lazy. Yeah. That That's was completely That's what different storylines, like Xeno yeah, Gears, yeah. and it sucks because it was a wife and husband team, and they were like <sighs> super into mechs, and you got to watch all the BTS, and, and then he killed her. No, no. <laughs> what the fuck? Why would he do that? <laughs> Go close your eyes. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's, but it sucks because it was competing with Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, and then American so when the, uh, the American translation they got it and they're like, yo, you can't fight God. Like, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is church like, and everything in the yeah. '90s. They were like, you, we can't make this in America and like switch a lot mm -mm. of stuff. Mm -mm. There's a drunk no priest with a gun. Oh yeah, there's one of my favorite characters, dude. The dad, because there's Billy and the dad. That's yeah, yeah. the drunk priest with yeah. fucking guns. I love any character in a in a, a JRPG with a gun. I don't know why they're always my favorite guys. This is like a martial arts because everything, yeah. like, other than the robots, it's weird. Everyone uses swords and everything, yeah. and then you have giant mechs, and then finally Billy with his revolvers. Like, exactly, <laughs> dude. You have a guy with a whip. <laughs> that's 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 oh, like the, like yeah. Let's bring an American in. Give him. He's a priest with a gun. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. And this, they're correct. I'm happy with it, dude. Yeah. I love representation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a very, I, I'm a weird guy with a gun, dude. That's what I'm about. This is what this is about. And then you got the religion and then the fault, like them using religion as a an entire like fake sect to control people. That game was deep for me. Well, yeah, never yeah. happens. Never. And then they had, yeah, that never happens. They also had a character that was like Blanca if he had a Gundam. Oh yes, Blanca from Street Fighter. I forgot if he had uh, a Gundam. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name. Rico. But yeah, 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 dude. We're going dude, nuts. I forgot. Over here. That's the best. He's a green, orange haired. Yeah, he's, he's fucking Blanca. Blanca. Oh my god. Fighter. And then he has a Gundam, dude. It <laughs> yeah, rocks. That's, that's, I forgot about dude, that. Dude, and his Gundam <laughs> is Jack too, dude. dude he has a that muscle. Yeah, dude. dude he yeah. has a huge. Okay. He has the biggest one other than Saber. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Purple fucking oh, mask, dude. dude. I'm gonna go replay that. Right, I have a Steam <laughs> Deck. I'm gonna go jerk off and play that. You can get it on. The, you can emulate it on your Steam Deck. Mm, did you get all the figures? Because they just launched. Oh, Squirt. I saw you sent that. I, I need to do. I need to go check that out. I bought all of them. Damn, son. all the. Figures. Where are you gonna put them? I already, well, you've seen the the id one because I got id yep. the nice one at the house. Now the yeah. red id is just like sitting there floating. I'm so like, oh, sick. so gangster, you'll never be open, sealed it. Yeah, which is most weird. This is the first time I've ever got this in a uh, collectible. 
They sent it, and then I got the stickers in a separate package, just like completely separate, completely separate, different. Ma- they mailed it differently. <clears throat> I got it at a different time. They're like, oh yeah, we forgot to send these stickers that go on it. Okay, you have to put the stickers on yourself. I, I didn't open either, so I just I slid the stickers dude. under. I was like, <laughs> and that collectibles. Dude, that's good. great. Customer service in Japan is so good. They told on themselves <laughs> before you had the chance. Yeah, it's like seeing these like. Uh. Uh, uh, dude, uh, no. <laughs> I think you would eat that dude. He like handwrites my name. The fucking Mail. guy who works in that factory <laughs> sent you the box and was asleep that night and just woke up and was like, "Fuck, I forgot the stickers." And his but, wife was like, "What?" And he was like, "I brought incredible dishonor." The, wife, to the wife's like, "Not me." Gonna get, no, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like full Japanese anime style. Nani, gumi nasai. He's like running to the mailbox yeah, and dude. slamming that thing in there to mail to it. Honey, yeah. I'm sorry I have to leave right now. Some weird American horny guy needs these stickers. Some creepy American guy who definitely is into some weird shit. He's watching right now. He's like, yeah. they know. Watch <laughs> <laughs> it. We love you, we love random you. Japanese guy. <laughs> Thank you Dude. for those sticks, bro. <laughs> Shouts out Japan. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in December. Are you going to Japan in December? I'm going to Japan to surf in December, yeah. Why? B- to surf? Yeah. Because surfing, surfing's best in the winter, but there's a wave pool there, and then also there's good surfing in Japan. And I'm going to go like look at the giant Gundam and do all kinds of you know cool Japanese stuff. Oh, dude, I would love to go to Japan. And I, oh, man. Dude, it looks Christmas. <laughs> It's going to be before Christmas. That's fine. It's still like yeah, 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 yeah. Time. I don't think that. Yeah, it is tough. My birthday's in December, so. But I have not bought any tickets yet. So if, if people are trying to plan like a nerd trip, dude, we could go to some arcades. We could get crazy. I have time off November, December. I've been to Japan. So I can Sorry, uh, we're canceling all podcasts for December. We're going to Japan. We'll just yeah, do them dude. in Japan. Dude, we could just do live podcasts in Japan. Walking podcast in Tokyo. Can we just, oh, oh, we're all oh, oh, like oh, <laughs> walking around like this, like oh, loud dude, fucking that'd be dumb so tattooed America. Oh my god, we're all dude, tattooed. Oh, they would hate oh, us. Oh yeah, or love fu- us. Mm. They like my Japanese tattoos. They're gonna be. They're gonna see me and they're gonna be like, "This guy's fucking wild." And <laughs> oh, they're, they're like, gonna be like, like, "What?" And I'll have a full mullet by then. <gasps> Are you growing a mullet? Boom! I'm on. It. <laughs> Bro, dude, I'm trying to get the Kentucky waterfall going. Let's fucking go, I dude. just like yeah. Boom! <laughs> like, you had to oh, yeah. show. I look like I have a mullet right now. You do, and you look sexy. I would wear your face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We're back to wearing yeah. my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I would be down. Da- like Japan, and uh, it reminds me of what's a what's the Dreamcast game? Shinmu. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like '80s Shinmu. That's the perfect representation of Japan. You're like, oh, you just walk around in the winter time though. It would be a blast because. That's not an experience. Is it cold? Love. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it gets cold there, dude. I don't also, know. I, I don't. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it gets all very cold. It gets very hot cold. and cold. They have crazy snow and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'd be beautiful. Oh, because then you, we could get like one of those mountainside places. Oh, with the, uh, dude, the, the, we could even go skiing or something crazy. We can go hang. Dude, it'd ski. be awesome. And I hear that like Tokyo in the winter is like a vibe. Like it's pretty sick. Oh, dude, Joe, Tokyo and f- so far any time I'm like, yeah, this yeah, is dope. yeah. You can buy houses out there for a dollar for an entire year because they have abandoned house issues that are extremely far out in the. Yeah. Have you seen this? I've been watching. I watch these people on YouTube. These like Americans that bought a house and they're like redoing it. It's a dollar. You buy them for nothing. They just say upkeep it, dude. But how do you? You can't live there though. How do you own property? You, you can live there. They they're trying to like do something. And, and if you're in the, I think that they're like, hey, listen, mm-hmm. if you're foreign, you can live here. Just don't go in the city. <laughs> like, yeah, like, you're like you can live the- in the country. Be weird out away go, from us. Go do your camera things over there. I also think there's a very weird specific thing. And I mean, listen, Japan. I don't know if you're being racist. It seems like you are. <laughs> I get it. Low key, you guys are pretty wild about that shit. But I think that you can only go if you're married. So that there's no risk of you marrying a Japanese person. Oh. I think someone was talking about that on YouTube. I don't know, but he he was married and someone was like, how are you getting over here? And he's like, oh, I was already married. And that like uh, makes it so much easier to get this process going. No Omega bro. Yeah, yeah. They don't want any <laughs> weird American gorillas up there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, white devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I don't know why I looked right at you I, when I, I said know, it. I'm not sorry. at me. You're I'm like sorry. round eye. Yeah, I was like, why do you this motherfucker out here? 
It's oh. crazy yeah. watching those Japanese videos because it is it's weird. YouTubers they'll just go and be like, oh, we, we got this property for a dollar. Yeah, yeah. PewDiePie has. I mean, I was gonna say yeah. the, the yeah. whole fucking PewDiePie thing. He's he's been like, yeah, it turned my life around. Yeah, he's released a video saying I'm finally free of that content creation hell cycle. Yeah, he's just happy. There's a few like I'm truly not. There's a few people that do YouTube's about reconstructing these houses, and they're just like, I just live a simple life in the Japanese countryside, and like this is what it's all about. Dude, that sounds like I'm like, oh, damn, man, to dude. Just, oh. as long as I have fiber, like I'm cool with it. Yeah, no, me too, dude. I would live in a van if the internet was good. Yeah, I don't care. I wish I could live in a van. I wish the internet was good. You 5G like is not fast look. enough, dude. Dude, van life, the van life, I think's his name. He's mm -hmm. gonna uh, been talking to him. He lives in it. He does plays video games and streams. Does out he of have his a van. satellite internet yep. connection? Oh, so then, but then he's like spending apartment money in a van to have fast internet. Well, now with uh, Starlink, it's like sixty bucks or what? Bucks. You know that. dude? I'm about to move <laughs> into a van. How every much are you spending? Up, How much woman. are you spending in New York? <laughs> Please tell me about rent. Versus yeah, dude, I, I spent like dollars, eight thousand dollars <laughs> to live in a box the size of this thing. <laughs> It's so funny, dude. It's crazy how expensive it is out there. Dude, the van life is really cool watching that style content because he does streaming and then his YouTube content. He just goes and finds like haunted places to stay yeah. at. He's like, yeah, he just pulls up his van, gets out. And I emailed him. I was like, bro, you probably don't get this much, but like fucking kudos on your camera work. Oh. I know no one says anything. He is the guy that will get out, put the camera down, walk all the way back, then drive the van in yeah. just to get shot. Oh, yeah. He's, he's what got was that an eye for fucking survival it. TV show? Less, uh, less, less, less Grove. No, not Shroud, Less, less Shroud. Is that what his name less, is? Less, no. I, I went straight to fucking He's the guy that eventually he was, uh, everyone he got mad up. at him because he was like, Bigfoot's real. And people were like, what are you saying? I was like, dude, this guy is spitting. Let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah. What is uh He's Survivor Man. Survivor yeah, Man, Survivor thank Man. you. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Think, I think his name's Les Shroud, but I don't know. It could be. It's Les something. But that dude was crazy because he did the same thing. It was like set up camera. Yeah. Walk, Les Shroud. And he's by himself out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, he's got like up. three tripods that he's fucking working with. Yeah, he just kills just it. It's crazy also to be like, I'm gonna survive, but I have to carry this gear. Yeah. Every time you watch a nature documentary, you're like, dude, the people filming this are like the manliest people. Like God, that's so nuts. whoever Bear Grylls cameraman was, GG's homie. Did you yeah, ever see yeah. Afri like uh, in Africa when they're photo like photo uh, photographing the lions and everything eating from the swamps like that one dude that's in the swamp oh, just dude yeah sitting there. he's literally like in a ghillie suit like sure hope they don't notice me <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude that, like dude. and they'll be in the water baddie and they're just holding a camera for hours waiting for shots dude that's so crazy I'm nah like I would never do. It seems ironic for me to be like I was a sniper, but nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, dude. Waiting for shots, different kind. It's finally yeah. here. Battery dead. Oh, dude. You would <laughs> lose it. Like, no, 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 no. The alligators just <laughs> 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 the crocodiles just floating by. You're like, no, 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 no. no. Oh, dude, they got crocodiles up there. That's a different thing entirely. Mm. Oh, Japan. I'm, I'm down. I'd go. Yeah. I'm gonna go back. I mean, we've been talking about going to Japan for. We were gonna try in 2021. Yeah, COVID still has weird Oops. rules. Uh, yeah, well, I think still, they're good now. There are, but you still have to wear a mask a lot of the times. I think. I mean, the boys were all just there. I don't remember I seeing them wear masks. Yeah, I saw some people shit. not, but they the, the people I saw were in the countryside and they were surfing. So I don't know. That's always because even PewDiePie, he just did that. At, at, hey, this is annoying thing. He look what I love, what I don't love. Like, yeah, he's like cones are everywhere. But also, he's about to have a kid, and yeah. he's only allowed to be in the hospital for two hours during this because of COVID rules. Yeah. So he's like, once the kid's born, you only have two hours to be in that room, and then you have to go until the next day. Just and to keep the amount of people in the hospitals low. COVID, yeah, yeah, and so the spread of COVID. It was so weird. He's like, I don't know. And then my friends and family the spread said. Spread gingivitis. Yeah, yeah gingivitis. Dude. Gingivitis. Hey, Eli. Yes. Do you like shopping online? Yes. Do you like downloading music or videos online? Yes. Do you also watch a lot of porn online? Yes. No. No. Well, you're probably using cognito mode for all that, right? Yes. It's totally safe. 100% safe. Not at all. What? Incognito mode won't help you at all. You need a VPN. You need ExpressVPN. Do you use ExpressVPN? Of course I do. I never want anybody to see what I'm looking at online. What do you look at online? My favorite thing to watch is...
But that's okay because I use ExpressVPN to make sure all my browsing history and everything I do online is completely secure and safe. Lots of cheap and free VPNs actually make money by selling your data. ExpressVPN created a special technology called Trusted Server that makes their VPN servers incapable of storing any data at all. What? What is LightWave? A new VPN protocol used to create faster speeds than ever. I've tried many VPNs in the past and they usually slow my internet speed. But ExpressVPN is always blazing fast and allows me to stream HD videos with zero buffering. Ooh. The last thing that sets ExpressVPN apart from the rest, ease of use. You don't need any technical skills to set it up. You just log on, start the app, hit one button, and you're ready to go. And that's not just me and him saying it, that's CNET, Business Insider, the Verge in many other tech journals rate ExpressVPN number one in the world. So protect yourself with a VPN that we use in trust. So use our link below expressvpn.com slash unsub and get three months free on a one year package. That's expressvpn.com slash unsub. Uh-huh. Thankfully, YouTube's they've lightened up on that. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, they, the ginger we said strength. a lot of things. <laughs> we did. Yeah. This has been a That's what we we've, gone, we've said so many, we've gone from <laughs> world <laughs> politics. topic. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> dominated by a French woman. Exactly. Batty comes, yeah. <laughs> comes weird. It's wild. Batty comes weird. I'm a yeah, ginger. <laughs> what do you want from me? Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Which is amazing. So much tasteful side boob in Final Fantasy 16. Really? So much tasteful y- side boob. You know what's the most underrated boob in, uh, ironically, I say that, it's under boob. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah dude. I saw wonderful. a bunch of under boob on love 6th Street in Austin yesterday, and I was like, all right, I see it. Nice. I love under boob. I will always say, like, Sav knows, shout out to Sav's under boob. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the best yeah, under boob in the world. <laughs> love is real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Give it, you should do the Amazon, man. Come on. Sav will. Hold on. It's my job. <laughs> my feet Dude, you got the one around. leg up. You know when you put one of her legs up? <laughs> Let me stretch my dick out first. Well, you never it doesn't s- bend this way. <laughs> you ever get tangled up and you're kind of scissoring? You know, you're fucking, but no, one never leg is tang- over yours and the other leg is no. over here. Tangled up. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's kind of in the realm of what's going on. Yeah. Mine yeah, is. for the power stance she's in the yeah. fuck. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, I come with. Yeah. Oh. She's in a power Bro, stance. You're, you're not <laughs> saying she's not. Do not knock it until you've tried it. All right. You it's, know what? Fair. Also, that girl's pussy Fair. was from the future. She yeah. can do whatever she wants, bro. <laughs> it was so good. It was crazy. <laughs> Wait, how did that story end? Oh, you fell in love. Dude, you dude, fucked so in front of the Eiffel it, Tower. We had, a, well, we had a French affair. An affair in America is when you cheat or whatever, but in like France or whatever, an affair is just like a whirlwind love thing where you're like in love, but it's only supposed to last so long. That's why it's French or whatever. So we had this thing. <laughs> we were like in love. We Hell fucked yeah. like crazy. We were cuddling. It was very nice. It was like one of the best things ever. And then she was like, bye. I was like, bye. I love you. And I never talked to her again. Wait, is that a chapter? And that's a that's an amazing chapter. Yeah, dude, I just never talked. I, I literally like you ghosted she, her. she went off to join the army or whatever, and she her kick was deleted and, and MySpace is gone. I just never saw her again. Wow. Yeah, and she's I, never reached out to me. I've kind of hoped, like, as I've gained any kind of notoriety, maybe she would be like, oh shit, this guy, but I'm sure she's like married to some rich guy and like has a successful military career and like it's up to whatever she's up to. Or she's, she's got a in, photo on your phone, she looks at her and like, she's single maybe. tier. Dude. She's in an altering universe. She is on a podcast right at this moment talking about the American dude, dude who that just, she dominated. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I laid pipe. Do you understand? I start crying. I laid pipe, man. Oh, fuck her. It sounds like she had the yellow no, helmet dude, on. Took turns <laughs> we passed the construction on the right, dude. Dude. we collaborated <laughs> and it was great all right we explored each other's bodies i love beautiful. that idea though she's just like there was an american guy huh i dude, wonder what he's doing if you're listening to this podcast right now i will go crazy on you <laughs> <laughs> i will let you fuck me again yeah dude. <laughs> It was very cool. Also, just shout out to the older woman, you know, teaching me what's up. MILFs. Yeah, dude, MILFs. They have way more experience. They, it's so much better just to like, yeah, they, she knew what was up. So Cut loose. Also, shout out France, dude. You guys are wild. <laughs> 
They, they, I love how they protest. They're just like, let's light stuff on fire. <laughs> well, that's America, that, too. Yeah, it's, we do that here a yeah, lot, too. Yeah, but they're not doing it. They, we, we do, do like, it, bricks and windows and yeah. fire. We destroy buildings, pro- like I, everything. I would say we, we do protesting where we barely break anything. The news says we break everything, and then nothing changes. Oh, you yeah. Know? No, that's, and yeah, then okay. in France, they're like, we the fire department set themselves on fire and ran into the line <laughs> of police officers. <laughs> like, once the farmers protested, like, some weird thing about them subsidizing food or making it so they can't grow as much as they want and they drove hundreds of tractors full of manure and dumped them in front of the french version of the white house so that it like created a giant barricade of literal shit and they're like we'll clean it up when you stop fucking around <laughs> yeah yeah i was like dude france is doing it baby that's how you do protests though that's like in my like that is what you do it's like hey well, they they have Fuck a very off. they have a very I, when France protests they go this is exactly what we want give it to us or else when we protest we're like we want you have two sides of the spectrum yeah, where yeah. no one wants the same thing we, and, like, and also we have no clear goals we, no <laughs> one is like because in France they're like this is exactly what I want yeah this is it right here do it and for all of us our entire country every single one of us is kind of like. I don't know. I kind of, I don't really know what it's like when you're like, you ask someone what they're into for sex and they're like, I like stuff. <laughs> it's like, like, I, all, what are you saying? What yeah, kind, dude. What do you want to eat? Vague. Yeah, what do you, that's exactly America is a woman who doesn't know what she wants. To eat. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, also, as soon as you're like, and then you pick something, you go, okay, we're going to eat Chinese. She goes, ah, I don't want that. It's like, not no. that. What? No. Ah, you told me to pick and I picked and now you don't like it. I will freak out. <laughs> Well, I just don't want that. That's I'll us. I'll take that one, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> and you're like, that was mine. <laughs> I'm running to the gas station real quick. Uh, do you want a drink? No. You come back out. He's like, dude, every time, every time. I love to get a drink anyway, and then they're mad at you, but they drink it. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I thought so, dude. You maniac. Dude, how excited are you for the new Lord of the Rings? Magic this way, batty, and you can incredibly. I'm sweating right now. There's a box. So, if everyone doesn't know off camera, Eli and I have uh, purchased a few 14 boxes of (laughs) collector boxes of Magic Gathering. Collector boxes, all collector boxes. That's the place you're gonna pull the rings. (laughs) So, uh, off camera over there, there is currently nine. We're waiting on the other six or so to come in, or five more to come in still. Damn. Uh, but there's nine boxes within eyesight of me. <laughs> Your and face is on that. Wedding. Wild. And can we, oh, you're going to open them on stream probably, huh? We're going we're to do a, oh, video. Video. I was like, can video. we open them and just see if the one ring is in each of them? <laughs> <laughs> you just, just want to open all of them. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, God, I'm like, Shane, yeah. where'd you get those? You flew here. <laughs> I picked you up from the <laughs> airport. <laughs> Don't smell it. You, I, it wasn't in my butt. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you're yeah. so tempted That's to so open crazy. one right now, just one pack. We were just like, oh, <laughs> Bad I, is like, no. I, <laughs> are you sure, though? I, I literally, I, I had all the boxes <laughs> delivered to my house, and I brought them here, and I was like, they need to stay here. So I, I have opened six cases or six boxes of collector boxes myself already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking for any of the serialized rings because I, I've pulled four serialized cards from the last couple sets already. So I was like, yeah. I'm going to hit a ring. Yeah. Maybe not the ring, but I'll hit one of the other serialized rings because there's like, you know, 300, 700, 900 serialized cards. And then there's 3,000, 9,000, 7,000 non serialized, but still very. We can open one pack a piece, right, Batty? We have one pack of peas. <laughs> we have one, one pack of peas. I mean, it's you're content. asking the heroin addict. We can take a hit, right? Uh, like, yeah, yeah, real dude. quick. We're gonna, we're gonna do we all of it. Our special. Uh, come guest. on, let's open MTV. a pack. I'll make you feel oh. good, dude. Eli. Eli, make sure it's one of the. Oh fuck! Just grab one of the loose boxes. It just. <laughs> one? One? No, one of the loose boxes. Sweating, dude. Uh, which one? Loose. Any loose box. The ones in the packages are the ones from all over the U.S. No, no, no. Oh, loose box. Oh, loose box. box. Loose box. Dude, it's a, we're it's so a tech, Yeah, that's right a text. So we have six over there for, that are a case from Texas. We're going to open one. And then we have eight other boxes from around the U.S., like one from New York, Wait, do, Rhode Island, Florida, uh, Wisconsin, California. Oh, you're doing it all Washington. over the place. Wait, I literally, I, I fucking hit the Did spectrum. you get a Canadian Utah. box? We gotta, no, no. Because nah. I just got U.S. ones. And I got one from Utah, though. That dude, that's the that's the winner right there, dude. Oh my fuck! So, so for everybody go. listening, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you. you don't get to 
see we're really <laughs> doing it, dude. Make sure you, you crinkle the pack in front of the mic. Mm. So mm. I've opened six of these already. That's so nice. I, I've hit every mythic in the set, though. So. I have not done the collector's boxes. I have a few that I'm going to open, but I'm mostly going. I'm just oh, trying by the to way, build real the quick, regular uh, Big shout out. So um, I don't Wait, want that one. Give me a different one. No, fuck no, you. I'm going to let you guys pick. Yeah. yeah, yeah big yeah. shout out to a local game store here called Game Lot. Uh, me and Eli had ordered a case of these from... Um, I got mine. Uh, from Washington and the store canceled our order and then game lot here in San Antonio actually gave us a case to open so big shout out to them oh yeah, my know, god you can smell it oh, this dude. Lord of the Ring is like the biggest set so you, they were already getting upcharged on every single thing uh, this is the one I was actually super excited for and I think Batty and I know you, you're yeah. like the biggest. I mean, look at your fucking yeah, tattoo yeah, on yeah, your goddamn. Lord of the Rings is my <laughs> shit, bro. I was losing my mind. So now we have a single pack a piece. I'm going to throw up. We're opening the pack now. Audio. <laughs> now what would be crazy is if one of us get the ring. <laughs> I would run so fast. I would literally. I just, <laughs> you guys, I just <laughs> run. You guys like, what? Well, happened? Shane's a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, do you even still the, play magic? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I don't mean. play a lot these days. If this is weird, but I'm actually I have a goal to beat a chess hustler in New York. And so I'm trying to get <gasps> better at chess. So I'm oh, rated like y'all fuck. You should have been here. Oh man. I'm rated Next like week. 1, 000, maybe twelve hundred right now. And so I'm working on it. We have GM Canty coming in next oh, no week. Way. So Grandmaster Canty, he's one of the top Dude. players in the world he's a grandmaster yeah I, yeah that's crazy <laughs> to be a grandmaster of chess is like so insane he plays 30 second um games though that's what's blitz cool. chess or yeah, well Open 30 seconds pack. like 30 seconds like like <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> i hate when they yeah i just fucking rip the it's it's what are you doing no no it's not this one's one of those no it's not it you gets, can just, i promise you give me one of do those. i gotta open it give me the pack i got it dude, dude you're a fucking even idiot. the tokens in this are See, so sick I am. So, uh, if you didn't know, <sighs> the major hit, if you pull a ring, is going to be the fourth card in, in from the front. So, we're all going to, at the same time, we're going to drop cards and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. all right. Hey, mm -hmm. I got it. It only took the it's entire fine. We'll just wait on Also, Eli. foil it's token. Called. That's fun for you. Oh, yeah. I have, I, have a, I have a lot of tokens right now. I've opened a lot of packs. Oh, so, what I'm doing there's is called 12 per. What is it? 12 per. I think 12 packs per box i'm in six boxes so yeah i got like so fucking cool. all foil hot I'm just eli i swear to god i'm gonna come over there and i'm gonna fucking skull fuck you hey you we that got it pack. see dude see? he's been waiting any excuse to get inside uh, eli's mouth <laughs> 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 okay we did it baddie. let's go okay. Woo. Woo. i got a rock oh yeah that's good your, for you that's man your token you can just put that on the table that's okay. fine. that doesn't matter dude Inherited it, 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 envelope. Hold on, hold, oh, wait, whoa, whoa, what, whoa! Eli's going nuts. Okay, what are we doing? We're going one at a time. One at a time. So the the time. ring will be the fourth card from the top. Okay, right? if you have one. Boom. So All right, we got one. One. Okay. Okay. And oh, then so envelope. Good. Perfect. Two. Oh, those ones. Boom. All right. Everyone. All right. All right. Nothing. Oh, dude! I yeah. still oh, so felt it's the it. Fourth in the, the thing. Fourth, the fourth card. It's the it's the the last common will be the ring slot. So none of us pulled anything great. And after that, you well, can no, just kind of jump. I got Eowyn. That's fun. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got an island, and then I got Eowyn, Mortal Queen. Oh, dude. Wait, is this one good? Batty? I didn't pull anything good. Uh, she. It's a mythic, so it's a hit. But I wouldn't say it's. Here's my crazy. thing. I just look at this and I go, "It's all good, baby." What are you talking? About? I mean, I, okay. It's I've also opened five hundred. I got the Ringo South. I got Merkwood Bats. This is actually a really fun card. It's a common. I have Merkwood Bats also. That's a. It's a it's great common. Bats. Have you seen? Uh, there's a card called. Uh, uh, oh my god, what is it called? Orcish Bowman. That's causing just waves. Minus the Earth. And mm. then I got a uh, spiteful. Banditry. Ooh. Dude, we this got is great. Two. Yeah, I fucking love There's this. There's a set. card called I'm Orcish so Bow. Are you going to keep those? What? Oh, my you God. You open those. Okay. Unless it was the ring. Then, then I would have. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, this podcast was never <laughs> the <laughs> podcast would be unsub fights to the death alive. <laughs> You're like, I opened it, though. You gave this to me. <laughs> this Dude, is mine. What if I open the ring Possession and I just... Is not just <laughs> I just ate it immediately, <laughs> dude. You're what? on camp... <laughs> I would have been snuff film so I quick. I would just grab it and hold the Diet Coke over it. <laughs> no one fucking knew. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone 
everyone be cool with the one ring. Step away. Step the fuck away. I was telling Eli if I pulled the one ring, I would put it in an unsleeved deck and I would play with it live on stream every day until someone gave me a bounty of ten million dollars. <laughs> Just riffle shuffle. Yeah, dude. I would do the <laughs> Bad, Did you ever dude. see? Uh, there's a couple of people that still do it. Like they have their old decks, like their alpha and beta decks, and they just unsleeved and they're just shuffling cards. It's one like, of one of the cool things about New York is you can play any like there's if for gaming anything one more you like hurt. is happening. One more world so, hurt, Batty. Oh my God. Batty, one more world. I know you're well, heroin. I, I we can do this. <laughs> This is called content, and you all have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I am like, I, Eli just handed me another pack. This there, is, are, there are people who play Alpha in New York, though, and they, they play unsleeved because it's like this is how we played back then. That's oh my God, frustrating. Why? And it's kind of wild, but their thing is like, I'm never going to sell my cards, and I'm going to use them till they're destroyed, and then my life is going to end, and so are these cards, and I'm okay with that. They're, yeah, and I it's kind of like still. I get it, but also, Fuck damn, you. son, Big, like, yeah, that's okay. That's gonna be that's it. We're putting the heroin box. away. I mean the the heroin. We're just calling it. But it's also they're all like old, like they're not who you expect. They're all like 50, 40 year old, like weird Italian guys who are like like union workers that play magic. The guy like that's who played magic in the nineties. You know, hey, come on, give me the black lotus. Yeah, yeah, hey, <laughs> fucking, you know, I'm, I'm over here with my black, my black yeah, I'm mana, over dude. Here with what are you fucking doing? What the fuck? All right, I okay, got it. Batty. What do we got? One, two, right. three, four. Fourth one. card from the top. So one, one, one two, three. Nope. Oh, dude, I got this lame Frodo Baggins. Meh. Oh, Grimma, that's a good one. And then, dude, then you're the just looking for mythics or a card nuts. called Orcish Bowman. What is Orcish? Orcish Bo Bowman is a rare, and it's the most expensive card in the set. Oh wow. And well, besides rare. the one ring. Yeah. Well, it's so the one ring, uh, there's the non uh, serialized versions of the one ring. Yeah. And that's the second most expensive card in the set. Okay. To, to the rare. Oh, I pulled Sauron, though. Lord of the Rings. That's oh, really. hell yeah. I got oh, you got Gimli. Sauron? Yeah. The there mythic. Go. Wait, what? I okay. got Smaug also, but he's only a it's common. It's a token. So. Or token. Yeah, you're yeah, right. That, that's really annoying. They made they made a Call of the Rings Sauron. Uh, it's it's, a, it's a, a saga card that goes and gets that. I didn't look at spoilers. I have no idea what's in the set. Soothing of so when I go to when I'm unboxing now, I'm discovering and looking the art and the oh, the, man. the rules for the first time. What? When I build my cube, which for those of you who don't know, I, I bought several cases and they're just at home. I'm gonna open them. I'm building a full cube for the Lord of the Rings set. I'm just gonna quick, explain what a cube is because people for those of you who don't know, a cube is like the best way to, in my opinion, to play magic. Some people disagree, is to draft, yep. which is where you all open yep. packs and you pass them around and you build the deck willy-nilly out. Out of 40 cards or whatever yeah and so a cube is when you don't want to have to buy cards over and over again so what you do is you recreate opening those packs by having a full collection of all the cards that you can then randomize and make your own fake booster packs yeah and then you open them huge quotation marks around open and then you pass them around and you can draft infinitely forever and it's very cool and so that's what i'm up to with the lord of the Rings set but i don't know the rules like i want to i'm never gonna look up strategies and stuff yeah i'm just gonna go. play like i'm gonna go on i'm also dude i'm so scared about how much money i'll spend on magic arena <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I don't fuck with arena, dude. I have, I had an arena account. I had like an alpha invite and yep. I've been playing the whole time and my accounts too old and good now. And I have to keep playing. I just play the sets I like and I draft, but damn dude, I, I you can mm. drop some coin on there. Yeah. New video game. You drop money. I, it's crazy how fast you can spend money on things. It's like, this doesn't help much or it's just cause cos cosmetics even right now. Like Diablo, there was that one horse. Can I was like, Oh, dude, yeah. No, skin. it's crazy, dude. There are guys who go, who like lose their marriage over Clash of Clans, bro. Like, I had, people oh, go nuts. I had a buddy who spent like 40 grand on Clash of Clans. No. And I don't know why. I think back in the day, I spent like 200 bucks on Clash of Clans, and I was like, I can't believe I've done this. But if you, okay, but, it, <laughs> but I, I will say for a mobile game, if you play like hundreds of hours over the course of a year or whatever, yeah, like that's a hobby. It makes sense. It's, it's cheaper than golf yeah. or whatever. But there are people who like ruin their hundreds lives. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Spent. That one dude who spent $600,000 on Diablo Immortal. Oh, yeah. Yes. Holy shit. For dude, what, what are like, you doing, man? 600000 to have what? That's the same where it's like one season, right? Okay, hold on. 
actually, now in his defense, he could have spent that to go look at the Titanic. And so, die. So, yeah, pretty good <laughs> investment when you think about it. Oh, my God. There man. are worse ways to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. I know this is completely off topic. Bro, did you hear about the YouTuber that was supposed to be on that shuttle? No. I can't remember his name. He's a, uh, But he, ha- he, he was there. He went into the submersible. And he did, he's got videos of him on it recording like, wow, we're in it. And they had an issue with something once, so they pulled it out. And the second time he was supposed to go down, weather was bad. So like, never mind, canceled it. The next trip that went down, he was supposed to be a part of, and he ended up not going. Yeah. And that was the one that exploded. Oh, my God. So he was probably like, versus the billionaire son who was out at a concert. Oh, dude, that guy. Blink-182, baby. It's it's (laughs) Blink-182, bro. I would have been there, too. It's so crazy to post it. That's the thing, dog. Just go, dude. What are you doing? Did you see the next post he was making? Oh, yeah. He's out of his mind. Wait, what was the next post? Oh, he he. Uh, there was like an OnlyFans girl that was like, "Would you take me on a date?" And he retweeted. Was and he was sit, like, "Would love the face. chance or some shit." Or, it was, yeah, oh, that was like sit on my face or something. I think that was the one. I seen that one. It's like you're like, bro, you're just no. Read the room, dude. What? And then Cardi B was like cooking him on the internet, bro. She was <laughs> when Cardi B's coming up. at you. Oh, dude, when Cardi <laughs> lights you up, dude. If Cardi said bad things about me, I would just be like, I love you. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> to me dude they're so fun i feel bad because like he he posted like a, a rebuttal to cardi b <sighs> what are and you it's doing? so like here i don't know if he's all there no he's a bill no he he's a billionaire's son dude he's something's wrong at that point the say you know this kid has not had any recourse or like repercussions or just hey this is common human he decency doesn't understand adversity in any sense of the word i know people who grew up like upper middle class that don't understand adver- adversity let alone a billionaire's son dude and that where you're just your family's probably dead and you're like your mind is like i'll go to this concert and then I'm going to take a photo. Yeah. And then I'm going to post it on the internet. And people will get it and they will like it. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah, totally going to land. Be, and I'll have a smile on. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, it's bro. It's so crazy. Of all the things you could have done, this is this is the option. Okay. Here we are. Okay. So he does have Asperger's. Okay. Okay. Oh, he has the tism? I was, I was like, like I, I heard him more talking. Sense. I was like, ah, but I just. He's also 36. What? And he looks like that? That's crazy, dude. Brian, 36. I'm yeah. 36. <laughs> what the fuck? He's a billionaire. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, that's crazy. So he I also heard he was like harassing like um he like DMs and harasses like EDM female DJs or whatever. What's he say? I don't know. He's saying some he's in the DM saying some wild shit like show me your butthole for $100 or whatever. Dude, I had a guy DM me and he was like, "Hey, no offense, but I really want to see your penis if I could pay." <laughs> No offense. <laughs> We've all had this, right? Oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, and so, which is cool. Like, dude, honestly, flattering. Yeah. If I was a gay guy, I might send it. Like, you know, whatever. It's like, it's dude to dude. Here's Can I see cock, your bro? Dick? Yeah. And, but he was like, I'll pay you. And, and like, that's not offensive in any way, shape, or form. But then he was like, what do you think? Like, $25 a pick? What, son? My dick is $25. More. Oh, my God. That's crazy. That's this like is 20- high quality meat. Yeah, dude, that's a like you're paying nothing at that point. That's like you're you like I don't know. It's it's, 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 I, it's rude. It's, it's rude. rude. <laughs> exactly. It's disrespectful. That that's disrespectful. Like, that's like twenty dollars an inch. <laughs> <laughs> what? That makes no sense. <laughs> what? Why are we laughing? How big are your guys' dicks? What? I'd owe money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want to pay me? Oh, fuck. I'm in debt. I made negative <laughs> money, bro. Fuck. Damn, my credit's going down. Oh, my God. Here's my thing. Sending my dick is like, I can't. I have tattoos near it. So, like, there's no way for me to really send it without outing my. Like, yeah, you even your know. hands, though. You're at that no, point dude. where you're like, how do you hold That's your dick r- when you have hand tattoos? <laughs> That's how Riff Raff got caught in a sex tape. Because people were like, hey, those are his hand tattoos holding that dick. So, anyway. Shouts out Riff Rap, you rock. <laughs> yeah. Nice dick. Um, yeah, dude. Nice dick, bro, for real. Nice cock. <clears throat> but I was like, here's the thing. If I wish people wanted to see my butthole, because I could get a photo, that could be anyone's butthole. 
You know, I could even Google someone else's butthole and send it. Oh my God. See, it's the thing. If I was a regular guy, I could Google someone else. I could just, I could just Google nice white penis, you know, <laughs> and then I would uncircumcised professional question mark. And then I would have professional? a professional. Yeah. You know, you want, you want a good one. Uh, Lighting's like trimmed soft up. light. Yeah. You want to get <laughs> a little up. edge light, yeah, yeah. like a little rim light on you the side. You want it faded out and all like, perfectly done. You know, I don't want none of this like little rush. bronze eye tree in the back. <laughs> Exactly, dude. It's I don't like want a, a Montana rush job, as they say. It's on a spiritual journey. You're giving dude, it a story. Dude, I don't want the super what? cut circumcision. I'm not trying. I'm trying to get the... Fucking, That's cricket circuit. Yeah, dude. I'm not trying to do that, man. Holy shit, <laughs> So man. I'm... as, And then I send that photo, and now I'm making money, you know? And then they out me what? They're like, oh, hey, they're on, you know, Instagram. Shane sent my penis. Look at it or whatever. But it's like... <laughs> You I'm got rich, got, son. I'm rich. <laughs> That's not even my penis, bro. But now I can't send my dick because people would be like, oh, yeah. It's that's that Shane. Shane. That's Shane's, Shane's me. dick. <laughs> hey, that's his stupid. Oh, look, is that Darth Vader on his hand and his penis? <laughs> yeah, that's him right there. I feel bad. Our, our buddy Kings, uh, he's another streamer that I game with all the time. Oh we, we did a charity event way back, a couple years back, and uh, it was For like, his penis or? We're getting to that okay. part. Oh, oh, oh. Let's just calm down. Okay, okay. I'm and, close, uh, <sighs> whoever was raised, it was like Toys for Tots. We were raising money for kids, and we're one of us was going to have to get a weird tattoo or something if one of us raised more. That makes sense. I raised more than him. So you had to get my logo, which is my face, tattooed on his hand. No. So he has my face. like, And it's, the, it's like oh, yeah, Darth it's Vader. Full, it's like, it's Goku, but his face. It's my whole. That's wild. And he's right-handed. <laughs> No, dude. So he's coming harder than ever. So, uh, oh, when that? he shoots up and rolls down, it's just over. It's just sad. <laughs> it's like I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's how you crazy. doing, buddy? Yeah, it's right. Oh, dude. And my favorite part of the the other best part of the story is he hates feet. He's one of those guys that like oh my god. disgust I forgot. him. Oh, dude, he has reverse foot fetish. Yes. Yeah. So it's almost wor I, that's I way worse than foot fetish actually. Tattooed on top of my ankle, so whenever he, uh, we're talking about it, I have to take yeah. a picture of my foot and send to him. It, it's just like. Get his ass. How are you that weird about feet? They're on you, bro. You have the them. feet, man. You got everybody's got does, feet. Does his feet weird him out? I don't know that. Dude, I wish I was into feet. I'm That'd be so I'm cool. him right now. I'm actually wondering what makes you disgusted by feet. Because it's the same wire we discuss it. It's easily crossed it's with real it's right next to the your sex sexual. Part. Part. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know that. Yeah, I do. Dude, trust <laughs> me, I looked into it because I wanted to have a foot fetish. <laughs> yeah, dude. But it has to that wire has to cross, and then you're just like, I fucking want to come on them. Yeah, toes. dude. I yeah. just text him. I asked him, Do you hate your own feet? I, I don't have a foot <laughs> fetish, but I will say I've only I've been in love with a girl before. It went I was in love I was like all right I could see how I could be into your feet you know because your brain is making all the chemicals so but oh. but but it's not just the feet no 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 it's no. like a, a whole fu I just yeah like, yeah like if like she's got make out with your elbow right now yeah 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 I'll put your foot in my mouth while I fuck you Whatever. let's go the whole thing just walk Glock 9000 on her foot while yeah. you're dude yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're, I'm not, we're not dude. flossing her toes is what I'm getting at. that's, that's the next different that's the next level of Amazon if she's fucking you and then she gets your foot in her mouth, dude. <laughs> That's Am the I next dominating level? her I need now? You to suck my toes. <laughs> That's the snoo snoo. Yeah, dude. Make it oh, happen. Man. That's the way to go. That's you're still not go. dominating. Your foot's in her mouth. Yeah, exactly. No, you're still. You're no, not. You're dude. less dominating. No, I don't. Because she's so. sucking on your toes. Yeah, while well, you're bent like this. But I like it. But I like it. I'm the winner here. That's what I'm saying, dude. Why y'all judgmental? I thought unsub was unjudgmental. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you guys just hating on my fucking dick skill. On my dick skill. <laughs> That's right. Dude. You got great dick skill, bro. Thank you. <laughs> tell your tell your homies they got great dick skill. That's exactly, dude. Compliment your friends' penises wherever. The urinal at the podcast Definitely table, the wherever. Yeah. And then also, you know, just gas up your man. Yeah, shoot shoot him a text. Shoot shoot your buddies a text. Say, hey, nice dick thinking about it. Just, yeah, dude. Just get that going right now. Do it. <laughs> everyone everyone pause the podcast, uh, yeah. text your friend, go, hey, bro, I bet you have a nice dick. Yeah, nice dick, I bet bro. It's thick. <laughs> Send it to your dad. Yeah, yeah. dude, tell him, <laughs> hey, dad, I love my penis, so you're probably rocking something good, and I appreciate yeah. that. Dad, I'm in debt. What the fuck? <laughs> dude, what if your dad, what if you texted your dad, like, I have a nice dick, and thank you for passing that down? He goes, you absolutely got your dick from your mother. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. 
fuck? <laughs> he just sends one back. Yeah, yeah, dude. He's <laughs> like, wasn't me, bro. <laughs> wasn't me. That's on your mother's that side. That was the mailman. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will say if you're going to Amazon, you do want to be working with a little length. You know, you can't have you you, you can't you, you know you, you got a big certain amount. Is this like to, a slight like a little flex? A little flex. Okay, we're right, talking about nice man. Man. Oh, okay, yeah, you yeah, realize yeah. you guys have like one or two ladies that watch this, right? Gas up your own dick, bro. I get one it. or two. That is literally, a, dude, literally that's my dude, dude, I have like we eight lady that and she DMs me every time we record. <laughs> She's like, hey, I love the bot. I'm like, thank you for your support. We need you. <laughs> you are the Democrat. It's yeah, just yeah, one yeah. of there's just one YouTube. Yeah, it's just like <clears throat> that slice of the pie. It's like one. Dude, You're my, like, my, my the, the demographic that listens to the podcast is just like dudes who are into trains and guys <laughs> who want to send me videos of their Warhammer models. <laughs> Straight up, man. I just like dudes that are in the train. Yeah, dude. Dudes who are way they have traintism. <laughs> traintism? Yeah, yeah. So they're like pretty high functioning, but they're weird, dude. But they like trains. They're <laughs> way in the trains. A like, lot. Yeah, yeah. Who was that TikTok guy that did the 360 cam? Yeah, and he that, was that, super oh, that into was, it. I think he got a TV show, didn't he? Good for him, dude. He's British, right? Yeah. 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 So that's why that's actually not a 360 cam. That's just what they look like over there. <laughs> yeah. That's just a regular front yeah, mounted dude, camera. That's just a camera. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's just what British people look like, bro. You didn't know? <sighs> I wondered if that guy had that camera. He's like, this is hilarious. Or he's like, this is a cool angle. I want to know. Uh, he genuinely thought it was a cool angle because he wanted the whole train. He's genuinely <laughs> into just, trains. His eyes are just like. Dude, me, I got way into ASMR train videos. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you the demographic? Are you, yeah, the are you talking about I'm your little, own demographic? You know I have a little bit of train <laughs> in <them>, okay? <laughs> First off, I hate that I admit that I love trains growing up. I, I yeah. built, I built, I built trains. You, you would have the, uh, you'd actually, uh, you'd have the bridges on these little, uh, locomotive trains and you would add more carts so it, it would struggle getting up the hill Dude, and sounds... it would shoot sparks at the back so you have to crank it up and be like just sparking that sounds that? so fun dude, dude I, see, I literally am like that sounds awesome bro that sounds so cool i'm sorry man one of my cousins was obsessed with trains growing up i, was, I George, I'm sorry, bro. I thought it was the stupidest fucking thing in the world. No way. I don't. I don't. You don't think if you came into a room and there was a giant Ugh. train set going around, you wouldn't be like, I got to check all this out. Yeah, dude. I, I got to see what's see going it. on. I, and you wait by one spot. It could take two hours. Or you're going to wait there for that. Like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, you're like, fuck, the cars are stopping. Dude. And then those. Boo. Okay, imagine a Warhammer train. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's going around. There's little orcs on it and shit. It looks it's, all cool. But that's the steampunk. miniatures that got me, not the train. I don't give a fuck about Shane's like, what about a Warhammer? It's like, Shane, that's just an Amtrak yeah, with, yeah. with orcs on it, Space Marines. You changed you just nothing. You glued a bunch of orcs. Dude, Warhammer is just trains, bro. It's just trains for other types of dudes. It's just a Warhammer train, bro. But so I, yeah, the ASMR train videos, they're good. You watch it, and it's just like a train that goes like through Norway for eight hours. Wait, oh. Yeah. Why is it? Eight hours because that's how long the actual train ride takes. Do you watch the entire? <laughs> well, I mean, like I have it on while I do other stuff. Like most people listen to podcasts. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm, I'm watching the train, and then there's this guy that he goes on like these. So apparently, it's legal. <laughs> what? what, dude? 2020 best train ASMR 2022. <laughs> oh, you that's what the fuck you're was putting like, on at yeah, the gym. Our podcast demographic <laughs> is people who like trains and like Warhammer pictures. I'm like. That's a that weird, was oddly that, specific. Yeah. It's you, the guy who likes trains. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm straight up. I'm on there. You're dude, reviewing I comment this? on it. Yeah, dude. I'm like gassing them up. I'm like, keep these coming, bro. I love you. Because not a lot of people are watching them. So I'm going to gas them up to like keep them. Yo, skip the 4312. <laughs> fucking sick, dude, bro. He and goes it, over a bridge. <laughs> yeah, dude, stay motivated when you hit the Swiss liner. That one's going to pop. That's the video that, that goes viral. <laughs> That's the video that goes viral. Anyone else hold their breath at 1246 when it went through a tunnel? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like this? I do that. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I wonder if I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> I hold my breath. I do make it a lot of the time. I'm very strong. I'm glad I'm not the only one that still does that as an adult. Like, yeah, dude. Tunnel. Did it that, and then if I go over a cat, if I go over a cattle guard, I touch the ceiling every time, dude. Okay, you know, uh, in all fairness, because you two are fucking dumb. I love this. Yeah, so I, I also the other day I literally had to admit to my girlfriend as we were walking out of Target, 
every time the, the automatic doors open, I still have to go. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Nah. I still do the Jedi thing where I'm like, yeah, open the door. Yeah, and I have to like <laughs> stop myself. I'm like, no, there's people. Like, so okay. Oh, I think those are those things. It's like elevators. You're like, stop lights. I'm like. <laughs> Green. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah. eight times. Let go. Dude, they're just it. guy things. Like they're just, they're just, we're just some silly, goofy guys, bro. <laughs> you know what my favorite thing to do is? Is in New York when the light goes green, the second it goes green, to just lay on your <laughs> horn, bro. Like they're not going fast. <laughs> Just uh, trying to start a fight. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. like, like, what, what the fuck? It just turned green, yeah, dude, bro. No, like, you time it so the they're already uh, yeah. you're all on the and horn, you're already bro. like leaning out. Yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> they're confused. They made a mid. They, 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 they don't even get mad. They're just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Very Why funny. Why are you dude. like this? Yeah, man. I love that. It's a good move. <clears throat> oh my god. Fucking trains, huh? Yeah, bro. And then there's this dude who apparently in the United States it's legal. You can buy and like refurbish an old train car and you're legally allowed to drive it on tracks. Like they're public domain somehow. Like you can't interfere with like uh Amtrak and stuff, but you are allowed to train around. That's a real thing. You can privately train around the United States and Canada, I think. So people will refurbish what? like train cars from the 70s that are like f like casinos and shit from back in the day when trains were like the way and you can pay to ride them. And like this Wait, dude, so if I own one, I just have to be able to communicate with other. You Amtrak? just communicate to the train people and then you can the like make people. your own schedule and like train around. Yeah. Just train around, bro. You can like refurbish an engine, get like a casino car or so, or like an unsub podcast car, and then just train up to Alaska and like travel around. And like, it's beautiful. It's like a crazy adventure, dude. Bro, I know how to make Shane shit himself. Like meet here. He's just standing. He's like, this is a weird train station. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so smart. Pulls up. Like, He's got a big pair of tits on the front. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The big old like. It's just a huge rat. Thomas Thomas the train. Train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking space marines glued to the side. Life size ones. More you're like, did I die? We have a podcast to film. Get in, buddy. <laughs> if it has titties, more like Thomas the Crank Engine. Am I right, you guys? <laughs> oh my god. And you know what? I think that's the, the <laughs> part. I think we're watching this subscribe podcast. As always, Eli Double Tap, myself, Batty Street, and Shades with our wonderful, powerful, strong, beautiful, just the best guest ever. I love Please you guys so much. Tell us where we, where we can find you doing your um, thing and stuff. Oh, so I'm Shay Dozer online everywhere. You can find me. I'm mostly active on Instagram these days because I'm trying to get off social media some more, bro. It's bad for it's your real health. bad. Except it. for when you watch us. That's great. And you should keep doing that. <laughs> Very good social media. Um, and then uh, I have ShaneSmithComedy.com. I'm touring right now. If you're listening to this and you're in England, I didn't mean any of the bad stuff I said about British people. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be touring there. It's going to be great, dude. I'm going to get in so much trouble for talking about the queen or the king or whoever. Dude, I'm going to go to Ireland. Shout out to the IRA. I love what you guys are up to. <laughs> Fucking, I love the, we're just like, yeah, how do we get this started off? I love the, your hats. I love your masks. I like what, your whole vibe. People in England, I didn't mean that's a real joke. And, uh, I'll see all of you in September. And then I'm going to be in like Minneapolis and, and freaking Vegas and Portland. I'm going to be all over the place. Woo! And, but you have a podcast. What oh, you? yeah, I have a podcast. I forgot. I'm podcast. so busy doing your podcast. I forgot my podcast. I have a podcast, called, I have a podcast <laughs> called Cowboy Boys, and it's just <laughs> me and my friend, and it's it's just us talking about our penises a lot. And trains. Cowboy <laughs> A lot of train talk. Huh? Yeah, a lot, a lot of, train, of talk. train talk. And that's it, dude. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Thank you for watching this. Subscribe. We'll be on the after show where we're going to talk more about Shane's penis. Uh, see you on Patreon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.